Hi guys, Nick here with BitGalaxis, and today I want to talk to you about a program called Asset Forge by Kenny. Um, and if you haven't heard of Kenny, he makes a lot of awesome free assets for game developers to use in their games. Um, beware of the licensing, he makes a lot of cool stuff though, uh, just throw them into your games. Uh, Asset Forge is one of those programs he's created uh, to help us build our own assets. And this program is about $20 and it is in beta but in my opinion um, it's already worth it and just to kind of give you an overview the reason why I like it so much myself is because uh, three big pros it's really easy to create models it's really easy to texture those models and it's also really easy to export those models whether it be as a 3d object or as 2d sprites and to go over the easiest part of it, I mean, I'll show you as an example. I made this little spaceship probably in about 15 minutes or so. And in my opinion, it looks kind of neat. Uh, it didn't take me much time. Uh, so I really do enjoy just playing around with it. Um, now, a couple of cons with it. Obviously, um, you're not going to have the same kind of fine control that you have when you're building models with things like Blender or Maya. This is kind of like building blocks basically. Um, and that's probably about it. You, it. And also you don't have as much control when you're texturing. But to give you an idea of what you can do with it, I mean if you look at this ship here that I've made, um, it, you can make some pretty neat stuff with the basic blocks. You have quite a few primitives here um, that you can use. There are some sword pieces vehicle pieces, uh, western pieces, you can just go through aircraft. This is the one I tend to use the most because I like to make spaceships, things like that. Uh, bricks, like Lego bricks, and other buildings, and also one of my other favorites is castles. I can make some uh, pretty large castles in this program. Uh, and then lastly, there's city and golf and oriental. Okay, so got through those. Um, also, something else that's really neat about this is that you can mess around with the colors and textures and things like that, and that's really easy to do. Uh, in this case, like, you know, if I've already given all these pieces in red and white colors, if I wanted to change that, um, I would just have to click on the color I want to change. And over here on the right-hand side, you can just kind of scroll through and change it to anything you want right there. So it's, it's tracking those colors for you, and if you've changed them or created your own, you know, if you want to make a new one and apply a second set of blue colors or something like that, you could do that, apply it, and then change it as you want. So if you wanted to, like, you know, I want this to be purple now. Well, there you go. Now you've got a purple fighter. Uh, I'll make it more like a pink color, I guess. Pretty close to the original. Um, another neat thing about this is if you want to change a color, you just have to go here. I'm going to click on this, and you can, you know, click on the color you want, and to apply it, you just click on the part of the piece you want to change. So all of these pieces actually have like the white and the pink. Uh, these pieces have like, you know, there's a little uh, triangle here and this little, uh, I don't know what you call that, parallelogram here and this uh, little white side piece. So if you apply it, it's going to apply to that one section. Um, so in this case, I had a glass window and I had this uh, blue texture over here and it also had applied this little like hexagon pattern on top of it as well and you can change that pattern too so if you don't like that you can change it to um, change it to another one and then reapply it uh, so when you change the pattern that's the only difference is sometimes you have to reapply the texture to update that uh, but otherwise you know it's it's pretty simple to use and pretty intuitive when it comes to building with this um, Asset Forge is, like I said, like building with blocks. You pick a piece you want, you put it on the plane somewhere, and you just drag it in there, and you click where you want it. Now, I'll show you this. Uh, with this piece, it's not a good idea, but I'll sh actually, let me let's see if I can do this. Um, you can also stack objects, so if there's an object sitting there, you could put it right there, but if you lift it up a little bit, it's going to stack it on top of the object below it. If you've already got your piece in place, and you want to move it around, you could probably imagine what these little arrows do, so I'll just show you. Obviously, you can move them more incrementally than when you just initially set them in, in place. So, you know, you're going by decimals. So each, each of these squares is one unit. And if you want to move it a little more incrementally, just grab the arrows after you've placed it. So you could also imagine that this probably seems a little more manual than if you're familiar with other programs that have a lot of shortcuts for letting you do this. 
but overall if you're new to modeling not familiar with doing it yourself uh, this isn't a big net con it really it really is uh, once you get around to playing with it um, you just start building and adding and it's it's pretty fun it's almost like a little game in itself sometimes because uh, again you feel like you're building with blocks um, and you know you can also I'm gonna put this piece here oh look there's my my color automatically change the pink because this 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 color actually borrowed from this one um, so you know you can rotate uh, if you select the piece you're working on let me go back to this edit mode and you want to rotate these objects um, I think Z is actually front and back so if I press O it's gonna rotate on Z um, and then if you press control O it's gonna do it by 45 degrees and the same thing with I you know you can rotate around that way and then you will rotate that way um, and you can also mirror now this on this piece here it's really not a good example because it is obviously symmetrical so if I were to mirror it it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense let me see if there's something I could mirror that would be a little more obvious uh, when you mirror it ah here's a piece that's not symmetrical so when you mirror um, you know if you were to say mirror like that obviously you're flipping it and that's how I got these two little side pieces here so on my ship that I've created let me get back and delete these pieces that I'm not using anymore um, the ship basically I've taken a couple of wings and rotated them these wings here uh, and you can see this is the wing I use but what I did was I, I scaled it like three like three total um, and you can see that's what I have and then I found these little engines which are up here and I just have a couple of pieces that overlap like this this window I think is actually uh, this window here yeah I've scaled this down uh, you can kinda see I've made this narrower and then I've also made it longer and probably taller um, but yeah that's you can kinda tell that's the window I use so um, when you play around with the sizes and shapes you can actually make a lot of neat things and you can get really creative with it so um, if you have any interest in getting this model just let me know I can I can leave a comment and I'll try and get it to you any way I can and if you would want it in a different color and you just want me to export it for you in that color um, I can also do that just tell me the general color but don't get too fancy uh, I can't spend a whole lot of time on it but yes I absolutely can get you this even if you want the model from Asset Forge if you buy Asset Forge and you want this model I'll send you the model as well um, I forgot to get to the last part the coolest part about this is how easy it is to export it to a game if you want to build a game. Uh, they Basically, the program does all the work for you. You can export your uh, model as 2D sprites, and you can make them like isometric and rotate them, or you could even do them as isometric 30, 35, or even top down, and then it rotates it for you. Um, so that's a really handy feature, uh, rather than you having to make your own. Um, that's that's quite awesome in my opinion. Um, and then the 3D model as well, if you want to export it as an OBJ or an FBX, so you can put it into a game as a 3D model. Um, very easy to do, and so that's what I've done with some of mine. Um, just a couple of other cool features, you know, you've got this nice little space background. When I'm making spaceships, I use a space background. You can, of course, change that to something that's, you know, you want it dark or light or default. But I like to use, ooh, sunset. Here's one I haven't. There we go. See, lots of, lots of cool little things you can do. So, anyway, uh, that's, that's kind of my review of Asset Forge. So, if you like this video, hit the like button. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.